A truck driver had to be extricated from the cab of this 18-wheeler. It happened at the intersection of Doug Baker Boulevard and Highway 280. Good afternoon. Three other people escaped that wreck with just minor injuries. And the driver was airlifted to UAB. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell has been on the scene since this afternoon and has more details. Valerie. Pam and Muriel, that crash happened at 1130 this morning. And as you can see here behind me, there is still work being done. Within the last hour, that truck that was overturned has since been loaded onto a wrecker, and the plywood the truck was carrying is also being loaded up. Now, Highway 280 is heavily traveled, and although cars and traffic is moving along now, there's no doubt that that crash had an impact on drivers. When the 18-wheeler overturned, it left the driver trapped. It took roughly 40 minutes to extricate him from the cab and airlift him to UAB. In this case, we actually had a firefighter paramedic in there holding the patient up because he was hanging from the seat. Uh, then we had uh, multiple extrication tools, the jaws of life, that kind of thing, uh, go operating simultaneously. The driver's condition is unknown, but Cahaba Valley Fire Chief Buddy Wilk says because of the process, they made the call early to land Lifesaver to get the driver to the hospital as soon as possible. The crash shut down the eastbound lanes at lunchtime. The intersection by this shopping center remained blocked as well. Just to be able to get our apparatus in and be able to work, have a free area to work that's safe for us. Hale Nelson was out running errands at the time. 280 can get really backed up on any given day, uh, but it was taking a left on Hugh Daniel uh, onto 280, and the traffic was across the road. A drive that normally takes two minutes took 25. Horrible accident and uh, the fact that, that they were able to get traffic moving as quickly as they did is surprising, especially with the vehicle still sitting on its side. Flatbed was carrying plywood. Crews worked until late afternoon to clean up from the crash. But a reminder to all those out driving. Just pay attention, especially on the coming on the westbound side of uh, Highway 280. The 18 wheelers coming down the hill. Uh, it's just tough on brakes and just to be aware, just make sure you you're, you're aware of this intersection because we do have a lot of wrecks at this intersection. Now it's unclear what caused this crash. We will stay on top of the story and bring you updates on air and online. Live off Highway 280, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News.